Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So, in 2025, what's your best option? Front-end JavaScript development with frameworks like React or Angular or Vue? Or are you better off with the full stack? Short answer is going to be full stack because the job opportunities are going to be far greater in the full stack. There's no question about that. Let me explain. So, number one, 65% roughly of jobs are in small business. So that's point number one. Point number two, when you're looking at front end frameworks like a React or an Angular, especially Angular, you're looking at medium to larger corporations that are generally using those technologies. Whereas full stack, it's across the range. Many, many, many small businesses are using full stack and there's far less of them using a front end JavaScript framework. Now, I'm not criticizing the technologies. I'm just looking at the market share. I'm looking at the application. So just the, on a balance of probabilities, you're better off with the full stack. This video is sponsored by Savala. Savala is a platform as a service, a modern hosting platform with transparent pricing. You know what you get, no hidden fees. You pay only for what you use, no surprise bills or limits. Seamlessly deploy and host your apps, databases, and static sites with cloud native performance with the ease you love from Heroku without its aging tech or high cost. Enjoy unlimited collaborators, unlimited parallel builds, and no fixed plans. Leverage Google Kubernetes engine across 25 regions plus Cloudflare for best in class reliability and speed. Native support for trunk based and Git flow workflows means your team deploys just like Heroku. Preview your changes instantly with preview apps and static sites and launch in one click with ready built templates. Get started free with a $50 credit link below. So some people might be saying, I prefer the front end. I just want to do the front end. I hate the full stack. I think a lot of people who say that are just juniors or people who have never really had a job. Maybe, maybe uh, some experienced devs will have a preference for full stack, excuse me, to for front end versus full stack because the full stack requires more, right? There's a broader set of skills that you need, you have to understand. Typically, you're doing full stack, you, you got to get deeper into databases, and you have to understand the client server model a bit better. Yada, 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 yada. There's a bunch of different things you got to learn. Again, don't look at that as a downside. Look at that, look at that as an upside, especially in the AI age. The more layers you have in the development cycle, the less, the less likely that AI will be able to supplant developers altogether in that context. That said, something I've been saying for a while, I don't believe that AI is going to replace developers. I think it's going to replace certain developer roles, certain jobs that they may do, but developers in the end will be around. It'll just be a different type of developer. As I mentioned in previous videos, the way apps were built in the early 90s changed quite a bit by the late 90s and early 2000s. I was just talking to somebody just recently who used to be a Flash Action Script developer. Flash Action Script for, I guess, maybe a clip of a good seven years was very, very popular. It was one of the more important technologies in the uh, software development space. And it was growing, and then 2011 hit, and it got totally, it got decimated, it got destroyed. No flash jobs. You're not, flying, you're not finding any flash action script jobs within a couple of years after 2011. Steve Jobs famously killed it off uh, because he had disputes with Adobe, who owned Flash. That was what he revealed in his autobiography after he died. It was published after he died. He decided he wanted to stick it to Adobe. So he basically blocked Flash from working on iPhones and iPads, which were so important. So without access to that platform, uh, without access to that platform, Flash, Flash development couldn't go forward. And Flash was also very buggy. It was prone to uh, hack attacks. It was just, it was not a great technology in terms of long-term deployment. But ActionScript was a great language. It was a good, strongly typed uh, JavaScript-based. It was in the C family of languages. 
it was good technology in many respects, but anyway, it got killed. But all those action script developers, they didn't go live on the street and become hobos and uh, have to work at McDonald's. No, they just pivoted. So the guy I was speaking to a couple of days ago, or it was yesterday, anyway, I was speaking to him. He was saying that um, he had been doing a lot of React development. And at this point, he, he lost his job or he was, or I, I forget now, he either lost his job or he was about to lose his job and he was looking at opportunities going forward. So I said, learn the basics, just the basics of the full stack, and then get into uh, AI. So you can use AI in two ways. I've talked about this before. I won't go, I won't, this will be a very short segment. Number one, you can use it to augment traditional development practices, which you should do 100%. And number two, you can actually start thinking about a whole new way of developing or delivering applications that are based on AI tech. So custom GPTs, agentic implementations. If you are a junior and you're watching this and you're wondering about how am I going to get a job, how am I going to get a job, that's where you want to go. As I've mentioned in the past, when I got into development in the early 90s, at the time, thick client Windows development, largely Windows, so there was a little bit of Mac, a little bit of Linux, or actually Unix, but it was mostly thick client Windows, VB6, uh, VB5, I think before that, uh, C++, that kind of stuff. That was the old school. That was the established way of doing development and all the jobs were there. There's plenty of jobs, etc. But then the web came in. So what I did is I said, I'm going to adopt the new technology because I've learned uh, the hard way that you want to get into the new market. That's where the opportunities lie. When you have a very old established market, by the way, here's a little uh, business and... Um, job experience for you. I don't know why I did this. It's actually real. This is real analysis of things. When you have a very old established industry, what happens, you get all these regulations that come in, but make it harder to operate in that industry. Then you got all the bureaucrats who come in, but make it, well, through the regulation, that makes it harder to come in and compete and make money. And you also have a lot more competition, right? Because it's very well established. Everybody's in there. It's like becoming a real estate agent is probably the worst thing you can do because everybody in his neighbor is doing it and it's all about credentialing. That's when you know an industry is becoming inefficient when you have tons of credentialing, meaning you need credentials to practice that. Sometimes that makes sense, like dentists and uh, medical professionals, but other times it doesn't make any sense. But that's another story. Anyway. Going back to coding, going back to development, I should say. You want to uh, look where the trend is going. That's not where it's been, where it's going. So what I would do if you wanted to, again, going back, do you do front end or full stack? I would say 100% you do uh, full stack. And it almost doesn't matter what full stack technologies you decide to use, whether you use uh, Node, Express, or JavaScript, or TypeScript or whether use PHP Laravel. Or depending on the circumstances, you might find yourself using a, uh, a .NET implementation. The point is full stack opened up a huge range of job opportunities that uh, are not nearly as prevalent in the front end only. Let me back up when it comes to .NET, that's usually medium to large size companies. So you kind of run into the same problem as you have with just front end only jobs, medium, large companies only. Um, you know, I've said it for many years and it continues to be true and people are finding out all the time. If you want to get into the game, you want to get into the game quickly. Uh, and the best way to do that, of course, is PHP Laravel, PHP WordPress. Why? Because so many small businesses exist on these platforms. So to conclude between front end developer versus full stack, Full stack is where the jobs are going to be because of all the things we just discussed. I highly recommend you get into that. Uh, don't get emotional about the tech, you know. Uh, tech, tech is uh, not religion. They're just tools to get things done. So I would suggest you don't get emotional. I know some people who are like on Team React versus Team Angular or, or on Team JavaScript versus Team PHP. They're all tools. Again, the reality of the market is that you're going to find tons of PHP jobs and tons of WordPress jobs. And if you are a junior getting into the game for the first time, 
full stack for sure. And then uh, probably learn a little bit of WordPress and then get into uh, the AI stuff. Again, using AI to augment your development uh, processes. And number one and number two, learning about thinking about AI development uh, as its own new paradigm. Just like when you went from thick client development in the early 90s to web, it was a whole different way of looking at software. And I remember the engineers I knew at the time who were trained on traditional development of the time, thick client windows. And they had a lot of, uh, they didn't like the web. They did not like web development. Oof, they did not like it at all. Uh, but eventually, begrudgingly, they went there because that's where the money is. All right, I hope this is useful. I'm Uncle Steph. Let me know what you think about this video. If you disagree with any of my opinions, feel free to share below. If you like my long hair, give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions about anything I discussed here, let me know in the comments below. And there you go. I uh, train people in the full stack. I train people in business. Everything I train pe people in is stuff I've done for many, many, many years. And um, yeah, there you go. I hope it's useful. Bye.